she asks you who you are, what you're here, what is your job? I'm Anastasia, 33 years old, from Germany, and I came uh, to Spain two months ago, and I'm a digital strategist, so I work remotely on my computer. Okay, and uh, uh, did you choose this academy once you were here or before? How did you find about this academy? I chose the academy when I arrived in Spain. Mm -hmm. I knew I was going to Madrid, so I did a little bit of research and uh, looked at different places and compared different schools and classes, and then I chose this academy. Okay. Uh, any so why this one and not a different one this one had a very good google ranking and good google reviews so for me coming from a marketing background <laughs> and that's always a good sign and and then um and then i obviously also compared the different uh, art classes that are available so you know some are more um, kind of relaxed in the sense of uh, you drink some wine and then you paint something in one evening maybe for two hours a week four mm -hmm. hours and this one looked very serious to me which also was uh, a nice challenge and I like challenges so I thought okay these guys looks like they know what they're doing and the artworks on the website are pretty impressive so I was drawn to this art school did you uh, start painting or drawing when you were little? In school, yes. I really loved art. It was my favorite subject. I wanted to study it and then I did not study it. I studied um, sociology and politics instead. And then, uh, yes, got sucked into the labor market and was working in an office job and did not paint or draw anything for many years until uh, I realized that I actually want to become creative again and to start drawing again. Okay. And uh, you know, actually something, because I think it's important, I know the, the answer, but um, I think it's important to know because a lot of people have been the same story, okay? So why did you, when, I mean, what do you have, because you obviously love to, to draw and paint, which, did you choose politics instead of you know, go for a drawing career or a painting or be an artist. You mean why? Yes. Well, first my, my parents uh, were quite strict about it. And then obviously the common, most common um, arguments that it's a breadless art, that you will struggle financially, that you will be laughed at. I mean, especially in Germany, which is the country of engineers uh -huh. and car manufacturers, um, art is not so valued like in other, like in Russia, for example. Yeah. So, yes, um, the arguments were pretty strong against it. <laughs> and I went with the brain uh, and decided, okay, safety first. What do I need to do to, um, yeah, have a safe life? Uh, but then I realized it doesn't really make you happy in the long run. Yeah, yeah, always can. Okay, and um, why now? So why do you choose, I mean, after all this year yes. working in marketing, why now? Well, when I chose something out of sensibility and brain, um, I completely stopped doing what I love and what was my, my, you know, expression of who I am and what I like to do. and. Um, it's like a bucket with water and one drop that slowly fills it up and at some point mine was full to the point where I was even questioning what am I doing, why am I doing this, like you know, mm -hmm. until you hit the crisis and then I just decided to refocus again and restructure everything and go for the things that I love and not make decisions based on fear. So yeah, that's a good one. when I chose fear, I went for the stable nine yeah. to five salary yeah. thing. And life is more exciting when you choose what you love. 
Also. Yeah. Yeah. And what did you love about this program? About this art academy here, what I love is that, um, yeah, it's, it changes my perception, how I, how I, see, how I see things. Uh, it's a very, I love, I, I love a challenge and this is definitely for me a challenge and I love how this art school completely destroyed everything that I thought I knew about <laughs> art before and uh, just which was which was you know happy go lucky um, <laughs> try your best if you want to do a portrait uh, maybe the nose is funny or the eye, one eye is bigger than the other but uh, you know you jiggle around until you kind of get it right and you don't know what you're doing and what I love about the art academy is that you have a a really good approach that builds you up step by step, teaches you the fundamentals. And yeah, it was a hard, um, it was a hard path in the beginning because when you're used to driving a car, for example, and you think you know what you're doing, but you actually don't, uh, you have to relearn certain techniques and things. So I'm at the process of relearning and training my eye and being able to uh, understand lines and directions and movements and color values and uh, it's beautiful because it changed the way I, I see things now in my daily life. So mm -hmm. That's what I really appreciate. Okay. And how is your day-to-day -day routine here in the academy? So I arrive every day uh, for five hours per day and one half we do uh, the model life model study which is not my favorite part but it's the most useful in the end because you train your eyes you train to see different shapes and lights and shadow and um, I believe that once you really focus on let's say humans I mean to me the subject matter doesn't matter too much but I feel like when I can grasp it and the form and the shape I, I can draw anything what I want. If I know where the lines are going, what the angles are, what the proportion are, in the end I can draw a flower or, or um, a dog or a human, but I will get the idea, I will get the basics of it. So this is what the life model does to me, mm -hmm. um, to be able to put the figure and the shape on a piece of paper correctly. And then the other half, uh, we do different drawings, paintings, we can choose from uh, a set of um, you know, master paintings or master drawings and then we make a copy or we do a cast um, drawing mm -hmm. and I feel, I, I like the choice to be able to pick one motive and then go with it and practice my skills or my technique. Okay. And which about the teachers? What did you feel about the teachers? That's, I mean, they help you? How? Um, how is your relation with them? Mm -hmm. The teachers here are young and fresh, which I really like. So it's not a dusty uh, old professor <laughs> <laughs> no that, is, that has been talking about the same thing for 50 years and he has no more patience and, you know, uh, but it's actually the opposite. So we have uh, young passionate teachers who have a different approach and style and you know they're on Instagram they follow other artists they have references they show you recommend you some things to have a look at so um, it's not it's it's nice and fresh and young which I like a lot and how is your uh, relation with the with other students how is like uh, being here like mm -hmm. you know because sometimes the, they're really competitive, the, you know. So I, I don't know how you feel like this is mm -hmm. here, if it's competitive or they help you or what do you? I feel that I'm in a pool of strong individuals. Everyone who, who's here really wants to be here. No one is forced. No one is thinking, ah, oh, I don't want to do this, you know. So. It's nice in the breaks, people sit with their sketchbooks or talk about their personal projects, what they're working on at the moment. And this is contagious. So this kind of passion and 
uh, it makes me, it influences me because then I start thinking about my things and share with the others and it's also nice to uh, get another opinion when you're drawing something and I ask uh, another student if they can quickly just have a look and tell me what's wrong with the painting or where I need to improve and yeah it's a good camaraderie I like it and um, there is something, I mean, that was really difficult at the beginning. What is the most difficult thing to do or exercise you have to do here? Yes. For me, the most difficult part was to go back to the basics. When you think you know how to draw or you um, are too confident, or you, then think again, because then you actually get a master painting and you actually start to understand okay wow this is actually a lot more intricate than I thought in the beginning um, for example the whole anatomy classes mm -hmm. or, or bones or muscles mm -hmm. so this really forces you to take many other aspects into consideration and to really master the 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 the, the craft it's not just um, before, when I thought, okay, a little bit of talent, a little bit of luck, and you can do something. But actually here, art is seen as a, as a craft and something that you can train and perfect. And, and it's a continuation, so it never stops. And uh, that's what I really like. Okay. If, uh, if you have to choose one thing that you love about the Academy, what would it be? I really love that it is new, so it was formed last year and um, I feel that you are very passionate about it. I feel like it's, um, it's not something anonymous, it's not an anonymous art school that is super big and mm -hmm. nobody cares, but I can really feel your influence here and um, before you go home you check you, you have a look at the artworks, you give your advice and you also allow us to um, to shape this thing here as well. So it's kind of organic and um, the way we, you know, we can come one hour early in the morning or practice some anatomy things and mm -hmm. uh, it's not so rigid with the structure but you leave a lot of room for other other ideas, which I really like. Okay. And uh, mm, okay, have you have you tried? I don't know if you tried some uh, tried before to try to learn through the videos through YouTube because there is a lot of stuff there out there that you can you know. Mm -hmm. Have you tried? I tried. And but. Um, I tried and there's a lot of stuff out there YouTube Domestica the whole blah, thing blah, blah. Instagram <laughs> before after but you don't get any feedback so I can do the same mistake for years and I will not know what I'm doing wrong um, and here you just just a little tweak or a trick like uh, that that uh, helps you a lot so for me for example drawing figures I always got it something wrong and I didn't know what it was mm -hmm. and until um, Jared the art teacher told me start with the um, upper body with the corpus and then add all the rest and once I did that it became so much easier to get the proportions right and if I would have just watched a video and copied it mm -hmm. I, I wouldn't know what was what was the right step. Yeah. Okay, and uh, do you think this kind of uh, academy is for, for everyone? Yes, everyone who's serious about art and who really wants to become better, who wants to develop their skills, yes. If you're just looking for, um, I don't know, have a nice evening and enjoy, have a pretty painting, um, I think this is way more serious than that and uh, but in a good way so it really goes back to the masters and back to the techniques and the basics and really builds your your skill up um, yeah okay 
Have you, I mean, you've been here for a few months now. Have you noticed any progress on, in your drawings? Yes, totally. So now I, I mean, the way I start drawings is completely different. So before I would start with the eye or <laughs> with some body part and then go from the small part to the big. And here I start with the box and with a geometric shape, which didn't even cross my mind before. And was very unsexy to me, like, why would I do the lines? Like, what's happening? And it's something I really had to force myself to do, but I see where it goes. Like, I see that there's a point to that. And uh, yeah, since then, I'm very, I'm much quicker to be able to draw things that I see from nature. And I think I asked you everything uh, now. Um, do you have anything else you want to add? Yes, I would like to add that personally, I was a little bit uh, worried in the beginning before joining, thinking about being good enough or not and the other levels of students and, you know, seeing the examples of artwork online and I didn't have any piece like that remotely in my drawer and you know yeah okay what well um but once i started the trial class this really convinced me um to yes to really um become good and you see here you see the paintings on the walls you see the drawings of your colleagues and students and uh kind of uh, fuels your, your passion and your desire to become better and to invest your time and to do some little studies and sketches at home. So now whenever I come to school, I have my little sketchbook with me and sometimes I do some sketches. I would never do that before. Mm -hmm. Before I would just take my dedicated time, sit at home and say, okay, now I'm going to paint something. but. Um, since being here, it's just like, yes, practice, just incorporate it into your daily routine. If you have a little break or you see something outside that you like, just take out your sketchbook and make a quick sketch. And yes, that's what I really like. Oh, that's really great to hear that for you.